Hi, second graders. I'm gonna take a minute to explain your math activity for today. So today is working on addition practice. And at the top of the page, it says solve, explain your thinking. And they give you a problem that they would like you to solve. 45 plus 36. So you're going to solve this problem and then after you finish, you're going to explain your thinking or list what steps you used to solve the problem. And then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna read about Ford and Logan. Ford and Logan each solved the problem using a different strategy. See solutions on the next page. So in a minute, I'm gonna to move to the next page where it tells you the different strategies that Ford and Logan each used so to solve the problem. They both came up with the same answer, but they used different strategies to do it. And perhaps your strategy will be similar to theirs or maybe different. So let's take a look at the next page. So it tells us Ford and Logan each solved the problem using a different strategy. This first box is how Ford solved it and this is how Logan solved it. And so it looks like they both used um, the base 10 blocks. They used the ones and the 10 sticks to solve it. But for Ford's strategy, he counted the tens first. So he counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Then he counted the ones, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, okay? So this up here would be the 45, this is the 36. He counted the 10 sticks first and then counted his ones and came up with the answer 81. Logan's strategy was a little bit different. First, Logan took 36, which, Oh goodness, is down here at the bottom. We see 10, 20, 36. And he broke his 36 into expanded form. He basically, well, it's not completely expanded form, but 30 plus 1 plus 5. Okay? So he took this group of 5 and combined it with the 5 from the 45. So he took this group of 5, and when he combined it with this group of 5, it became 10 more and so then it became 50. So the five from the 36 to the 45 up here, 10, 20, 30, 45, adding five more to it made it 50. And 50 is a friendly number. It sometimes makes things easier to add together. So once he had the 50, then he added the 30. So 50, 60, 70, 80, and he had that one left over. And that was how he was able to get his 81. So this would be what you would look at for the two different strategies. And then if we go back to answer the questions. Number one, how did Ford solve the problem? Will his strategy always work? So then you can go to Ford's page again and look and think about that question, okay? Will his strategy always work? And then if you go to the second question, how did Logan solve the problem? Will her strategy always work? Then the next question, gosh, sorry, says how are their strategies similar? How are they different? And then the last one says, how was your strategy similar and or different than Ford or Logan's? And then you can put your answer in there. So when you look at the two, think about the questions that they're asking you to try to answer and think about the different strategies that they used. Okay, so Ford, he counted the tens first and then he counted his ones. And thinking, is that always going to work if you do it that way. And then looking at Logan's, Logan made a friendly number. We know a lot of our 10 numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
are friendly numbers that make things easier to add together. So take your time, go ahead back and look at this page. Um, your first step is going to be to solve this and explain or give the steps that you use to solve it. And then go ahead and answer these questions and you can use this page to help you solve um, the answers and find the answers to these questions on, on um, one through four. Okay. All right. Work hard and have a good day. Bye.